Hi there. In this video, we will learn how to leverage Entropic Tech's Effect Lab platform to test retail experiences entirely online. We will also look at the interactive virtual shopper testing feature in detail. Let's begin. Once you log into the platform, click on Create Campaign and select Shopper Insights. Give your campaign a name. Choose the duration of your research campaign and proceed to test setup. Take advantage of the predefined question templates for screening, pre-survey, and post-survey. Choose a template based on what you'd like to test. And if you wish to start with your own questions, start from scratch. Once you select a question template, a campaign will be created. The first step to complete your campaign setup is to create a shopper test within the shopper campaign. Select the Emotion AI technologies you would like to use, give your test a name, and give necessary test instructions. Once you have created a test, your screen should look like this, where all the predefined questions for screening, pre-survey, and post-survey are auto-populated. These auto-populated questions can be edited if required. Adding stimuli. Start your test setup by choosing the stimuli you would want to test. Let's deep dive into each stimuli type to understand the level of details involved. If it's a pack that you'd like to test, you can upload images of the pack designs. Select the category and subcategory to compare the results against benchmark data. Add multiple pack designs and select recalibration if needed. If you would like to test shelf placements, follow the same steps. Upload images of in-store setups as stimuli. If you'd like to make the shopper test more realistic and design your own planogram, choose interactive shelf as the stimuli. Once selected, your screen should look something like this. This is Effect Lab's interactive virtual shopper feature. As a first step, design your shelf and customize it using the options provided on the left. Choose the shelf style, number of shelves, and modify their dimensions if needed. Please note, if you would like to measure purchase intent in your test, please enable interactive shelf. This allows you to include an add to cart option to the products you will place on the shelf. Once done, click on Save. Once you have laid out the shelf, upload the products you would place on the shelf. Please choose the product's currency from our exhaustive library and upload package designs or mockups. Fill in the details to give more clarity to the tester. Hit Save once all the products are uploaded. Once you have uploaded all the products, it's time to arrange them on the shelf and customize the shelf placement. You can drag and drop products from the left side panel either the ones you uploaded or the predefined ones provided by the platform. Click on the Customize icon to perform actions like copying products in bulk, changing product sizes, equally distributing them on the shelf, adding or deleting shelves, selecting product category, and so on. You can also check out the preview once the customizations are done. The shelf preview should look something like this where the products are clickable if Interactive Shelf is chosen in the beginning. Testers can add products to their cart and display purchase intent during the tasks. Once you have uploaded all the stimuli, be it a package, shelf, or interactive virtual shelf, the stimuli section of the test setup should look something like this. You can further predefine the sequence in which the stimuli will appear, be it your own sequence, a random one, or a hybrid sequence. Surveys. Survey is one of the most important sections of the campaign setup. Apart from the question templates you chose in the beginning, you can choose to add more questions in these steps for screening, pre-survey, and post-survey. You can choose more question templates from the survey library to ask specific questions on brand recall, purchase intent, and other consumer behavior metrics. Within each screening or survey section, you can choose to make several customizations, such as tag media to a specific question, randomize the sequence of options to choose from, marking a question as required so that it is not skipped, branching logic to link questions and answers, selecting the sequence of questions, reviewing the tree map of questions. You can also leverage more than 20 different question types to get the maximum out of your screening and survey questions. You can also choose to display specific instructions or success or failure messages post-screening and customize these messages as well. 
Lastly, you can also customize the look and feel of the test review to align the landing page, thank you screens, and abort screens with your branding. You can also preview the customizations before saving them for the test. Once the customizations are complete, proceed to add questions for screening and survey. Panel Integration To conduct the online test, you can set up your panel in one of these three ways. Choose from Effect Lab's exhaustive online panel of 60 plus million respondents. Generate tester IDs and ask your panelists to log in using that ID. Generate a tester URL and share that with your custom panel. To leverage Effect Lab's native panel, click on Panel, and then choose the configurations you would need in terms of panel provider, survey length, category, country, age, and other demographics of the panel. Effect Lab includes Lucid, P2 Sample, and Dynata as panel providers. Once you are done, click Save. And there you go, your campaign setup is complete. You can either launch the campaign or choose to leave it in the draft folder. All draft, active, and closed campaigns can be accessed from the campaigns option on the menu bar. This is what a tester will see while taking the test. The tester can choose the language they are comfortable with and proceed with the test. Effect Lab supports more than 15 languages as of now. The tester can proceed further by agreeing to the terms and conditions of our privacy policy. The tester must then give permission to use their camera and audio. They also need to ensure the browser they are using is compatible with the test. Once the necessary permissions are provided, the tester will be screened using the screening questions to ensure they are a suitable participant for this test. If the tester clears the screening test, they will have to undergo a calibration process to ensure their facial expressions and eye gaze data are captured accurately. To ensure that the calibration is successful, certain best practices are prompted by the platform. Once calibration is complete, the stimuli required for the shopper tasks will be shown to the tester in the predefined sequence. Insights. Now that testers have taken the test and data is captured in real time, it's time to check out the Insights dashboard where all the magic happens. Effect Lab's Insights dashboard can be accessed by clicking on the Insights tab on the top menu bar. Effect Lab's Insights section is divided into four dashboards, Summary Insights, Emotion Insights, Survey Insights, and Comparative Insights. Here's how you can see the insights for your campaign across all these four dashboards. Firstly, to analyze any of these four dashboards, you need to select the campaign, test, and stimuli that you would want to analyze. You can further filter your analysis by choosing specific demographic details like age, country, city, and gender. Once all filters are applied, click on Apply. Please note for the age, gender, and country filter to work, the Collect Tester Information page should always be enabled. Summary Insights Dashboard. Summary Insights, as the name suggests, provides an overall summary of the shopper research campaign. Starting with the summary of testers, including their location, age group, and gender. Please note, the demographic summary would only be available in those tests where the tester's information is collected before the stimulus exposure. The dashboard also has a summary of the test info, including the number of questions asked, number of stimuli tested, test duration, number of testers, etc. Lastly, the dashboard also covers the details of test completions. Details include percentage of people who completed, skipped, and aborted a stimulus. It also includes a tester funnel to show the journey testers took to complete the test and how many of them dropped off in between. Emotion Insights Dashboard The Emotion Insights Dashboard is where the real magic happens, where one can analyze how testers interacted with your shopper tasks. To start with, the dashboard gives the proprietary Effect Lab score by comparing campaign metrics against benchmark data. The dashboard also includes attention, engagement, and emotion percentage distribution if facial coding is chosen during test setup. With respect to eye tracking, the platform recreates a shopper's point of view with a screen recorded video. Heat maps, gaze maps, transparency plots, mouse plots, 
click maps, and AOI filters are added on top of it for granular analysis. The platform provides predefined custom and zone AOIs by default. You can adjust the dials for radius, shadow, and blur dials for better visual representation. You can create areas of interest, or AOI, or use predefined ones to compare and identify the best shelf placements. The AOIs give a detailed insight into the attention and engagement levels of the shoppers. To create your own AOIs, click on Custom, select an AOI shape, and define the time duration during which you'd want the AOI analysis. If you have more than one test in a single shopper campaign, the Emotion Insights dashboard also includes a detailed chart that includes all test results in one view. Survey Insights Dashboard The Survey Insights Dashboard, as the name suggests, presents various chart representations of the responses received during screening, pre-survey, and post-survey. You can choose to add or remove any survey questions from the dropdown and the Insights charts get auto-generated. And lastly, the Comparative Insights Dashboard gives a comparative analysis of two shelf layouts side-by-side -side with heat maps, transparency plots, and gaze maps. Apart from these, the comparison also includes areas of interest, AOI, age groups, and gender details. So there you have it. It's that easy and self-serve to test retail experiences completely online. Be it package testing or shelf testing, you can test all retail experiences completely online, that too within 48 hours. Not only do you ask survey questions to your respondents, but you also pinpoint what elements they are looking at and interacting with. Make better retail decisions to increase in-store sales and conversions. Pick Entropic. Talk to us, info at entropictech.com.